Imagine standing at the threshold of a hidden world, a dimension where time bends and consciousness expands. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi novel. It's the reality for those who have awakened their third eye. Often depicted as a mystical, invisible eye located between the eyebrows, the third eye is said to be the gateway to higher consciousness and a seat of wisdom. But what is the truth behind these claims? Is it merely a metaphor spun by ancient mystics, or is there scientific evidence supporting its existence? In this exploration we will journey through time and theory, unearthing the roots of the third eye concept, examining modern scientific investigations, and understanding its implications in today's spiritual practices. Prepare to have your perceptions expanded and your understanding of reality transformed. The concept of the third eye is as ancient as it is enigmatic, tracing back to civilizations that left indelible marks on the fabric of human history. The earliest mentions can be found in the spiritual texts of India, where it was seen as a powerful symbol of enlightenment and inner vision. The Rig Veda, one of the oldest texts known to man, speaks of a third eye that allows one to see beyond the mundane. In Buddhism, the third eye is often related to the state of enlightenment that the Buddha reached after his profound meditation under the Bodhi tree. It symbolizes the all-seeing, all-knowing eye of Buddha guiding followers towards the path of truth and liberation from the cycle of rebirth. Moving westward, the ancient Egyptians also had a concept remarkably similar to the third eye. They revered the eye of Horus, a symbol of protection, royal power and good health, which also carried connotations of divine intuition and wisdom. This connection across diverse cultures suggests a universal truth perceived by ancient wisdom, seen through the lens of their understanding of the world. Is there a biological basis for the third eye? In modern science, the pineal gland, a small endocrine gland in the vertebrate brain, is often associated with the third eye. René Descartes, the French philosopher, famously referred to the pineal gland as the seat of the soul. Where mind and body meet, in biological terms, the pineal gland is known for secreting melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep patterns. Recent studies have suggested it might also play a role in the modulation of waking states and more esoteric functions like human consciousness. However, conclusive scientific evidence linking the pineal gland to a metaphysical third eye remains elusive. Despite this, the gland's central location in the brain and its influence over critical biological rhythms render it a compelling analogue to the mystical third eye described in ancient texts. In Hinduism, the third eye is not just a metaphorical symbol, but a literal energy center called the Ajna Chakra. Located between the eyebrows, it's said to be the channel through which one can access inner sight. The activation of this chakra is often described as leading to psychic abilities such as clairvoyance and intuition. Buddhist texts also reiterate the importance of the third eye in achieving a profound understanding of reality, often referred to as the Dharma eye. Here, the third eye serves as a tool to see beyond the dualities of human experience and to perceive the interconnectedness of all things. Practices to activate the third eye in these traditions include meditation, chanting and various forms of yoga, each aimed at harmonizing the body's energies and reaching a state of deeper awareness. The benefits, as described in these philosophies, stretch from heightened awareness to a profound sense of peace and fulfillment. Western esoteric traditions, the concept of the third eye transcends Eastern philosophy, embedding itself deeply into Western esoteric traditions as well. In these contexts, it often symbolizes an inner gateway leading to higher states of consciousness. 
Theosophy, a spiritual movement that seeks to explore the underlying unity of all religions, places significant emphasis on the third eye, which they refer to as the eye of wisdom. This notion was popularized by Helena Blavatsky, a founder of the Theosophical Society, who argued that the third eye is the remnant of a lost organ of spiritual perception. According to her writings, it is through the third eye that mankind once had a direct insight into the spiritual world, a faculty that has since atrophied in the modern human. In contemporary Western spirituality, the third eye often features in New Age philosophies where it is seen as a symbol of enlightenment and a tool for psychic vision. Here it is not only a bridge to higher consciousness, but also a means of diagnosing and healing disruptions in energy flow in the body. Scientific investigations, despite its mystical and spiritual associations, the third eye has caught the attention of modern science. Neuroscientists and psychologists have begun to explore how practices related to the third eye, such as meditation and focused attention, can alter brain function and consciousness. Studies using functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, have shown that meditation can lead to changes in brain areas associated with attention, sensory processing, and internal thought. Researchers speculate that these changes might be linked to the kind of heightened awareness and insight traditionally associated with the third eye. Moreover, investigations into the effects of pineal gland hormones like melatonin suggest that they might influence more than just sleep. Some researchers are exploring whether these substances could play a role in modulating consciousness or even facilitating mystical experiences, thus providing a possible scientific basis for some claims made about the third eye. Psychological and Physiological Effects Individuals who engage in third eye practices often report a range of psychological and physiological changes. Psychologically, many describe increased clarity, intuition, and an ability to see beyond personal biases and limitations. This is often accompanied by a sense of profound peace and interconnectedness with all life. Physiologically, practitioners sometimes report enhanced sensory perception and a tingling sensation in the forehead where the third eye is said to be located. Some also note visual phenomena, such as lights or shapes when their eyes are closed, which they interpret as the third eye opening. However, these experiences vary widely and can also be influenced by psychological expectations and cultural conditioning. This makes it challenging to definitively attribute these effects to the third eye per se, as opposed to more general benefits of relaxation and focused attention. In today's world, the practice of activating the third eye has moved from secluded ashrams into mainstream wellness studios. Workshops and courses aimed at opening the third eye claim to help individuals tap into their inner wisdom and expand their consciousness. Testimonials from these modern practitioners offer a glimpse into the potential benefits and experiences associated with this practice. One practitioner, for instance, describes experiencing a profound sense of knowing, which she attributes to her third eye awakening. Another speaks of enhanced intuition, claiming that it has helped him make better decisions in his personal and professional life. While these personal experiences are compelling, they also highlight the subjective nature of third eye experiences. This subjectivity makes it difficult to assess the efficacy and effects of third eye practices in a standardized way reflecting the complex interplay between belief systems, psychological states, and physiological changes. The third eye is not without its skeptics. Critics argue that much of the evidence provided by proponents of the third eye is anecdotal or based on subjective experiences that cannot be reliably measured or replicated. 
scientists and skeptics alike caution against attributing supernatural abilities to what might be mere psychological or physiological responses to meditation and relaxation techniques. Furthermore, some critics warn of the dangers of pseudoscience in spiritual practices. They argue that while exploring spirituality is a personal and often beneficial journey, it should not stray into making unfounded claims that could mislead or exploit individuals. Balancing skepticism with open-minded exploration is crucial in the study of phenomena like the third eye. This balance ensures a grounded approach that respects both scientific rigor and the rich tapestry of human spiritual experience. The implications of widespread third eye awakening are profound. If humanity were to harness this potential universally, it could herald a new era of insight, empathy, and interconnectedness. Proponents argue that such a shift could lead to significant societal transformations, reducing conflict and enhancing empathy across cultures and societies. Moreover, the evolution of human consciousness facilitated by the third eye could dramatically change our approach to health, education, and governance. By fostering a deeper connection to our inner selves and the world around us, we might be better equipped to tackle the complex challenges facing our global community. Yet such transformative potential also comes with challenges. The integration of third-eye practices into mainstream society must be approached carefully to avoid cultural appropriation, commercial exploitation, and the dilution of ancient traditions. As we conclude this exploration of the third eye, it is clear that this ancient concept holds more than just mystical allure. It has practical implications for personal and societal development. The journey through historical beliefs, anatomical studies, philosophical insights and personal testimonies reveals a multifaceted view of what the third eye could represent in modern life. Integrating the wisdom of the third eye into contemporary society involves respecting its ancient roots while exploring its potential through modern science. It encourages a balance between skepticism and spirituality, urging us to see beyond the physical and into the realm of deeper understanding. In this balance lies the potential not only for personal growth but for a collective evolution that could redefine humanity's future. As we stand on the brink of this new frontier, the third eye invites us to look inward and see beyond to a horizon filled with insight and infinite possibility.